Definition of the environment The environment is everything that surrounds us. This encompasses the physical resources of the earth, including the atmosphere, water, the land, and raw materials, the living resources of animal and plant life, and human populations. Environmental management is concerned with understanding these elements and how they interrelate. The International Environmental Management System Standard ISO 14001-2015 defines the environment accordingly as the surroundings in which an organization operates, including air, water, land, natural resources, flora, fauna, humans and their interrelationships, surroundings can extend from within an organization to the local, regional, and global system. Definitions Natural Resources Land or raw materials that occur naturally in the environment Flora, plant life, fauna, animal life, environmental media, air, land, and water Geology, study of the physical materials that make up the earth Hydrogeology, study of the movement of groundwater in the soil and rocks Sociology, study of human social activity environmental management clearly has a very broad scope. One of the fascinations of studying the environment is the breadth of topics and disciplines that are involved. Environmental management typically involves concepts from scientific and technical disciplines, e.g. physics, chemistry, biology, geology, and engineering, but it also has social and political dimensions, e.g. town and country planning, public health and legislation. Barriers to good standards of environmental management. Many organizations of all types and sizes successfully manage their environmental impacts. But we need to recognize at the outset that the broad scope of environmental management poses a number of barriers to good environmental management, for example. Complexity organizations are complex, with numerous environmental impacts, such as waste generation and disposal, energy use, emissions to air, or discharges to water. Deciding which impacts to address and how to achieve improvements requires background knowledge of environmental impacts, how they interact, and options for improvement. An understanding of how changes of process or procedure can affect the business is also important. Competing and conflicting demands organizations need to operate in an efficient and effective manner to deliver the right product or service to their customers on time and at a competitive price. Commercial companies need to make a profit in order to survive. Individual people in an organization may be driven by financial rather than environmental pressures. All organizations need to comply with applicable legislation there is often conflict between environment and health and safety. For example, to protect workers from high dust levels in the workplace, dust is ventilated to the atmosphere. If not controlled, this may cause an environmental problem. With plants being covered in dust, or a nuisance being caused to nearby residents. Behavioral issues changing the way people behave in any given situation is one of the most difficult things to achieve. In recent years, the cost of fuel and general size of the environmental problem we have seen that the environment covers a wide range of issues and disciplines. When we think about our own organizations, we need to recognize that we can contribute to local, regional, and global environmental issues. The following figure illustrates this, local effects of pollution. These can include poor air quality due to the pollution caused by high levels of vehicle traffic or local industrial processes, for example, vehicles emit a mixture of gases and particulate material that can cause harm to the environment and damage human health, oxides of sulfur and nitrogen are often referred to as SOx and NOx respectively. NOx can react with atmospheric gases in the presence of sunlight to produce harmful low-level ozone, contaminated land from industrial processes where spills or accidents have occurred, leaving ground contaminated with pollutants such as heavy metals, cadmium, lead, etc. 
water pollution from accidental spillages from industry. Pollution by noise, odor, and light is becoming an increasing problem. And all of these types of pollution are often controlled through legislation. Operating conditions may also be imposed on businesses located in sensitive areas under planning law or through industrial environmental permits. Waste is often heavily regulated, e.g. under the Waste Framework Directive 2008-98-EC in the European Union. This is because unregulated and uncontrolled disposal of waste can lead to the spread of disease through contact with the waste itself or an increase in numbers of vermin species, such as rats, which aid the spread of disease. Waste can also contaminate land and water. Global climate change the first decade of the 21st century was the warmest on record and measurements over the last 150 years show that the temperature of the atmosphere has increased by around 1 degree Celsius. This phenomenon is commonly known as climate change. There is now strong evidence that climate change is related to pollution of the atmosphere through the mechanism known as the greenhouse effect. What is the greenhouse effect? It is actually a natural phenomenon. The sun irradiates the earth with energy and as the earth warms, it emits energy back into space as infrared radiation. Some of this radiation is absorbed by greenhouse gases that occur naturally in the atmosphere, primarily water vapor, carbon dioxide and methane. The effect of this is to reduce heat loss from the earth. Were it not for the greenhouse effect the temperature of the earth would be well below zero degrees Celsius. The problem is that burning fossil fuels, e.g. coal, oil, gas, petrol, diesel, which account for more than 85% of the world's energy consumption, releases large quantities of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere have consequently increased significantly during the past 50 years. Enhanced levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere are now believed to be artificially increasing the greenhouse effect, leading to climate change. What is so alarming about a warmer planet, sea levels will rise dash, primarily through the melting of the polar ice caps. This could result in widespread coastal flooding. Climate change The warming of the Earth is likely to trigger changes in the Earth's climate. This could potentially have very serious consequences. For example, major food producing areas might begin to suffer droughts, reducing our ability to feed ourselves. There are also likely to be more extreme and disruptive weather events, such as high winds and floods. 